upon this 9 a.m. I'd like to welcome everybody to the work session of the Limestone County Commission. Um, Ellen, do we have any public comment? We do not. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, first thing on the agenda for today will be to approve the minutes from December the 5th of 2022. Does anybody have any issues with anything on the minutes? All right, moving on, next thing will be to approve claims in the amount of $1,471,000. $136.99. Anybody got any issue for any claim pay? All right, no public hearings, report um, resolution orders. First on here, we'll have a approval resolution authorizing to execute a, of an M MOU between the Forever Wild Land Trust and the Limestone County Commission to receive an annual payment from the Ever for Forever Wild Land Trust where their lands are owned by the Forever Wild land trust located in limestone county anybody got any issue with that or any discussion with that all right next on here will be to approve a resolution authorizing the renewal of its participation in the um, liability fund for the calendar year um, for the calendar year of 2024 through 2026 anybody got any issues with that all right next thing contracts agreements and grants and mous um, First on here be to approve a, to enter into a MOU between the Alabama Forever Wild Land Trust and the Limestone County Commission. That is tied to the first resolution on anybody got any discussion with that? I will. What, the way I read that, we don't have to do anything. We just take their money. Yeah, it's for the land that, that Forever Wild owns, yeah. That, is that correct? Yes. That's all we got we, to do. We have to submit an invoice, I, I believe. That's yeah, all $729. Probably took more paperwork than the seven hundred dollars, but th there's no, we don't do anything other than take their money. No, you just that's just that's a, good. Yeah. their portion of what they're giving back. All right, number two on here. Any more discussion with that before we go any further? Good. All right, number two on here will be to approve an emergency management agency um, fiscal year twenty twenty two emergency management form performance grant. And cooperative agreement in the amount of forty-two thousand two hundred sixty-six dollars. Anybody got a discussion with that? All right, number three on here will be to approve an agreement between the Tracking Solutions and the Limestone County Commission, effective October the first, twenty twenty-two, and ending September the thirtieth of twenty twenty-two. Does anybody have any discussion with that? But I'm gonna say that's supposed to be twenty twenty-three. Yeah, I'd like to I would. That. I would say that that's. Probably a typo in there. What exactly is that for? It's for um, ankle monitoring and stuff like that. Okay. What is the cost per uh, monitor? Do you know? I'd have Do to look know? back at the agreement and the grant. Um, the sheriff knows. I don't think the sheriff would know, probably. Do you know the cost per, per unit on that ankle monitor tracking stuff? That's, this is through a grant. Yeah, it's through a grant that we apply for. It's just for a grant, but it's a, so a lot of it goes through the juvenile detention program and stuff. I'll have to get oh, you. Well, I was just thinking that, you know, our share, our jail's full, and I didn't know how that was utilized by the court system to save jail spaces. Most of this goes well, through either through either through like um, community corrections or the juvenile detention thing. So yeah. I can find out there. I don't have any problem yeah. with it. I was just wondering if we were utilizing it to the fullest to shape, save the shed, jail space. Uh, most okay. most of these are juveniles. Uh, yeah, most of them go through the juvenile detention diversion program over out of Collier County. But anyway, anybody got more discussion with that? All right, number four be to approve a contract with Axon Enterprises for the tasers and taser equipment and licenses for all calls for the same, which will be paid for through the Sheriff's Office. Um, anybody got a discussion with that? We sample it on you? Uh, not really. It might be flop <laughs> like a fish. That's what they'd say. Uh, we, uh, I think we'll try it out on you, back out. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm going to lay off of that. I'm going to miss that day. If we have just any more discussion with that. All right. Five on here be to approve a preventative maintenance um, visit agreement with um, Pax Lunum Labs LLC for maintenance for the courthouse colored lighting program and that's the, for the lights on the courthouse they just preventative maintenance program anybody got a discussion with that uh, number six will be to approve 
a participation agreement between the ACCA Liability Self Insurance Fund Incorporated and the Limestone County Commission. Anybody got a discussion with that? All right, moving on, we got three budget revisions on here today. Um, the budget revisions listed below is for Prior Street, it's for $1,600, and for the District 3 shed, they've been doing some work down there, and it, they already had some money we had to add to it for the 15000 there, and then the, the be coming out of the solid waste recycling stuff, we're finally getting started on getting our recycling project working up here, and it'll be for the total cost of 75000 on that. So. Anybody got any discussion with any one of the three? Yeah, do you have a break? What are we doing on the, uh, I guess, the recycling? Is that the LNS property? Yes, that's what you it got is. Got a breakdown of what we're doing there? Well, um, the, some of is it is for rock. Traveling or what? I think um, Hunter can probably lead to that. So, Danny, I mean, what, what, what they did was basically go in there and build a model so that it'll drain to that low spot down there build on the far south end, just like a digital model of the site and whatnot. So that was kind of something the city had asked us that we would go ahead and prepare before we started that project. And so Grayson Carter and Son hired a contractor from Rail Engineering to, to develop that model and whatnot. And then they went in there and are, are going to cut, you know, the, the high spots of it down where it'll all drain to that south end down there. And then we had kind of a change on, on the material type we were using. We went with a larger rock just because we're going to probably have some garbage trucks parked up there and whatnot for, for a little while at least while everything kind of gets lined up with that. So we went with a larger size rock and then they're going to cap that on top with the crusher run that's already up there. So that's that's when we had to add a little increase to to the original number was for the for the additional rock that's going to be purchased to put up there. Okay. What's so we're leveling and, and covering the site. What's the breakdown on cost? So about $25,000 of it's going to be for the for the larger number 24 size rock and then as far as what Grayson Carter and Sons total like invoice price is, I haven't gotten that yet, but it's not to exceed fifty thousand dollars. And that will include the rail engineering. That would include the engineering and the design the and all that and all stuff that. done, as well as labor material. Yeah, the city had asked us to do a um, stormwater research, <laughs> and we had to dig a little retention, to all of us to drain to that one area back there, which we had already kind of thought that process over when we started this the first time when we were going to build up there so is, is that did require unique skills to well I mean we, we just don't have the we don't have the equipment or the or the software systems or anything to really develop those type models you know I mean we we're more of a more of a, a, a check-in engineering firm rather than a than a developing engineering firm if, if you know what I mean we're we're more quality control than we are actually producing that type of stuff so yes sir Mr. Chairman, the only problem I have with it is, you know, we've, we've discussed what to do with that property, and now we're spending money on it. I mean, I don't, I'm not real, I didn't know all of this was going to take place, but, uh, you know, we, I guess we're still up in the air as to what to do with the property, right? Well, that's what we, we have had conversations, you know, what we do with that piece of property, and one of the things that we, we're going to do for the present time is, is the bottom corner of it will be used for recycling and also parking garbage trucks and stuff until we get somewhere to go because you got to have a fenced in lot to go behind there okay and the bottom half of it will be for that and then eventually you know we have looked at where we would do with if we ever had to go animal control if we had to do this we had to do that you know we you know i think the piece of property to us is just more valuable for us to hold on to it right at the moment to, because for future growth you know in you don't find seven acres of land in the city limits of athens very often you know that you you know that kind of has a blank sheet of paper to where you can do with it what you need to do so yeah. i would like for us to look at putting an animal shelter there if that's feasible i think that's going to be a problem that we need to address uh is an animal shelter <clears throat> well you know one of the things you know we have discussed that and while we're kind of on that you know i mean you know we we got put into the garbage business by you know somebody retiring you know in our animal shelter i mean mr Dr. Smith has done a long done it a long time and you know, and all that, but you know, Dr. Pittman's age and all that is there too. So we've, we've got to look at what we're going to go. And I know we've had conversations with the sheriff about it and other people, you know, I mean, it's, we've got to have a, we've got to start looking at a plan to what we would do because one of these days that's probably going to be put on us just like everything else, you know what I mean? You know, like Steve Gatton, you know, Steve Gatton done a great job with the garbage all these years and all, but when Steve decides to retire, he's going to retire and the same way with Dr. Pittman, you know, I mean, and Dr. Pittman's also had a few health issues and all this, that and the other. I mean, if, so we better be really, I mean, you know, we signed another contract with him year to year, but I mean, you know, 
you know, we have less than a year now because yeah. the time's ticking. You know, it's already, you know, right. I mean, you know, every day goes by, it's one less day to have a plan in place. And so, you know, and that's something we've all got to look at, you know. I mean, it's a, as a, because that will be on us someday. It's a responsibility by law that we have to obtain, you know, we have to have that service. So, and that's, and that's one of the reasons that I would hate to, to even think about, you know, we've had people approach us about buying a piece of property and things like this, that and the other. But as the county grows, we will have to have places to expand. And I, mean, I, and that's I just, think that would be a good location for an animal shelter. And even though doing the site work on this, you know, I mean, even later down the road, if you elected to do something different with it, we already have a site plan. You know, it's already leveled and ready to go. You know, I mean, so it has a, you know, we've already done the work on this property, and I know that the recycling program is something that we've kind of, it's kind of took a little longer to get started. We wanted to, but we've been up in Giles County has a program to where they you know, have a drive-through center, and that was just kind of what we modeled that after, and we thought that was, a, you know, just fitting for the time being, you know, until we could do better. So anybody, any more discussion? Well, it'll, all the, these improvements are going to have to be made to it probably oh, before you can ever get right. rid of it anyway, but, uh, you know, it's, to make use of it, you're going to have to do these, but I would like to would have liked to known a little more what was going on when I saw the equipment setting up there, you know. And I'm not in Mark in here today, but I know Mark has worked this project for, we've talked this project a pretty good while now, and I know that he has worked with Grayson Carter and stuff on it, I don't know, and, and um, Mark had got them all lined up to do it, and, and um, we had talked about doing it ourselves, but the issue that we have is, is you know, you know, any, any construction company's got laser level equipment and all this, that, and the other, you know, they can, they can grade it at a whole lot better grade than we can, so. Okay. That's just kind of the, and like I said, I wish Mark was here today. He could alleviate more toward the whole project, but he was, this is, I mean, we, you know, we've, we've talked that we've actually, I think y'all went up there once and leveled some of it up better than it was, and I appreciate y'all doing that. Yeah, we had to take out foundations and everything else and, on that other project. And they're actually taking out down to the extra, extra edge of the road, and, you know, people, they're going to try to get it to where it's a whole lot better drainage system there, so. Okay. All righty. I just, uh, this morning, I come by there and that, all that rock we've got sitting out there, I wondered what the issue was with not using it. Yeah, I think when they originally talked, I think it was probably back in September or something like that, at that time we were thinking it was primarily going to be just used for like a drive through recycling area. Well, you know, since then the county's gone into the garbage business and yeah. three inches of crusher run, I probably just wouldn't have held up to a garbage okay. truck. Is, is, well, that is, explains not. Yes, sir. I just just adding a little more strength to it. Rock on site, and, and they'll, like I said, they'll end up using the crusher run too. Just they won't use as much <clears> of it because I, mean, I think they were thinking at one point like five to six inches of crusher run, mm. and now we'll we'll probably do like a you know three to four inches of a number two layer, and then come back on top of that with crusher run to finish. Okay. And you know, not only that too. You know, I've thought about it. You know, a lot of other ways. You know, it'd be nice to have a nice fenced-in lot to where we can lock stuff up in town. You know, especially like if you sell something on gub deals or whatever. You know, even if we didn't use it for that, you know, you'd have a nice fenced-in lot to where you could put something there and they could pick up from that one location instead of, you know, all over the county and this, that, and the other. So, okay. All right. Any more discussion? <clears throat> and I apologize if I mean, if I didn't, you know, about not knowing all about the rock and stuff. So, yeah. I saw the equipment being moved in, but I thought the city was going to do some sewer work or something up through there. So, and like I said, you know, Mark's on vacation. I'm not... Okay. Him, I mean, but he, he's, he was, uh, well, I had to ask a few questions myself. Hunter, I was gone, too, and Hunter asked me, called me several times asking me questions about it, too. So. Yeah, but we're all, we, behind the curve. all right. All right. Any more discussion with any one of the budget revisions? All right. No emergency purchases, board appointments. We do have one appointment here to the 911 board. Mr. Derek Gatlin has agreed to take that position, and for a lot, number of years, I want to stop right there a minute and thank Mr. Um, Frank Travis, he was on that board for a lot of times. He passed away. He was a city council member, and that'll be good to have somebody from the county that actually represents on that board. Um, Mr. Frank done a fantastic job, and he lost the battle of cancer last year. But um, I know Frank has served on it a lot of years, and the board appointment came up, and Derek had asked me about it, and I mean, it's I think it'll be good to have some. Exactly. Do you got anything to say about it? Drew, do I need to abstain on that vote, or would it matter? I'm sorry? Do I need to abstain on that vote, or would it matter? It's my understanding it's an unpaid That's board correct. position, and I don't, I don't think there's going to be an issue with gotcha. that. I think, thank you. I think Derek's an excellent candidate. He already knows about the system, and 
I've been around a few years, part of it anyway. A, a year or two. And as far as the service, yeah. I'm grateful that you uh, have taken so many non-paying jobs in your career. <laughs> <laughs> Look where it got me today. So yeah. Right. <laughs> See, like me, I've got plenty of non-paying boards. <laughs> That's right. But it is, and I want to thank everybody else on that board. I know that is a great board. It's a lot of great guys on that board. <clears> and, so I just want to thank everybody else who does serve on that board. Um, but, Derek, thank you for stepping up and taking a position on that. All right, any more discussion with Derek taking the 911 board? All right, we have a couple of bids to award here. Um, one is for video um, systems for the sheriff's office for court calls, and it's $21,600 per year with a three-year contract. Of 64,800, and then we have uh, printers and tag materials notices for the license commission. With so, anybody for $9,500, anybody got any discussion with either one of those? Is that where your guys don't have to take them to court, Sheriff? Is that is that used? Is that used? We use it in our our judges use that system. Oh, we don't have it. It's a new addition to us. And, and the judge is good with it. Right. One of the things, I know, and Sheriff can allude to this, back during the COVID virus, we kind of did do some video court stuff, and it really streamlined everything and made things so much easier, you know, because... You know, people don't understand, you know, if we transport an inmate from the jail up here, if you transport a, a male and a female, you have to have a corrections officer of both kinds. And I mean, it's a, so with that being said, this will alleviate a lot of, you know, time up there. So, I mean, you know, so that would be, I, I think it'd be a valuable asset added to our sheriff's office plus our court system too. Any other discussion? And I know Joseph, are you got anything to discuss for your license tag printings? All right, thank you, sir. All right. Any more discussion on that? All right. Next on here will be to approve to hire Heath Black as Assistant Engineer PE, effective um, January the 9th, 2023, pending a drug screening. Anybody got discussion with Heath? And this is a position that we've had open for a long time, and for the, um, you know, this is, we really add a lot of value to us, and the state reimburses us 50% of the salary of an assistant engineer, so that's a, it won't cost the county but 50%. So, Any more discussion with that? All right. And second on here will be to approve to transfer Stuart Fontenot from corrections officer to patrol deputy effective 12-19 of 2022. Anybody got a discussion with him? Okay. Now, is he going to the academy, Sheriff? Yes, sir. We were able to Okay. I, I know I was up this morning. And they said they had some going to go to the academy, so good deal. Yeah, that's a good thing. You know, start out and move your way up. That's a good way to do it. So congratulate him on this promotion. All right, and then the next one will be to approve to transfer um, Travis Allstead, which is a.k.a. Petey to everybody. I think everybody knows him as Petey. So Petey will be going from Equipment Operator 2 to Equipment Operator 3 in District 3. Anybody got a discussion with that? All right. We have merit increases. We have several listed below. Anybody got any discussion with anybody on a merit increase? All right, moving on, engineer's report. Hunter. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We just have one on the subdivision approval list for y'all today. It's a replat of Anna Acres Estates, track one, minor subdivision for preliminary and finals. Be creating, taking one lot and creating two lots out of it in District 3, south side of Moyers Road, approximately 2,000 feet east of Lucas Ferry Road. And that is all. All right. Anybody got anything else for Hunter? He's representing our engineer today that is out on vacation. I guess those high interest rates are cutting the building down, ain't they? That, probably holidays, too. I feel like we usually oh, have yeah. a little slowdown around this time of year. but And the weather. Yeah, and our rain and Let's all. Let's blame it on the interest rate. Okay? We'll, we'll go with that, then. All right. <laughs> <laughs> be fun. I know a lot of, I've had several conversations with people in the lumber business and stuff, and they're saying that they are kind of seeing a little slowdown. You know, it is a kind of a little slowdown in there. A lot of it is the way they was telling to me was it was the size of the house was kind of shrinking because the price was had to stay about the same and the interest rate and all that had to keep the payment about the same. So, but anyways, anything else? Nobody else got anything else, Hunter. All right. All right. Other business. And this is something that I asked to put on there, and we can go with it or not go with it. Approved for the county offices to be closed on Friday, December the twenty third, twenty twenty two, for celebration of the Christmas holidays. Um, we have done this in the past. Um. 
I know Morgan County will be closed Friday. I checked around, you know, the touching county. Some of the ones will close Friday, some won't. This is totally the decision, but it's a it's gonna be mighty cold Friday and most everybody's gonna take off anyways and so it's a it's a totally up to y'all on that. If anybody got any input on it, let me know. So this will give our employees four day weekend, right? Yes it will and you know, like I said, 75% of the employees is capable of taking off, and it will take off Friday anyways, I think. so. Yeah. And it's, uh, like I said, I, I know we're not going to be able to do any kind of construction work Friday because no. I don't think, I think eight degree weather, they're hauling Friday, it'll just wrap up and stay warm. And then, so, and I know when the License Commission office, especially, I went out and talked with Joseph, you know, he'll have some, you know, he can't let everybody off, and I know he's probably had a, several requests of people wanting off and can't get off, and so, I mean, this is, just, uh, I mean, like I said, it's some 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 places give Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, some doesn't. Um, we we follow the state holiday. This would be an extra holiday that would be voted on. I know the governor always a lot of times votes and gives the day after Thanksgiving. So this would be if y'all want to go with it, it's fine. If you want to take it off, it's fine, y'all. Let us know either way. Any discussion? All right, moving on. Um, then we got one item to move from inventory here, and this is for the council and agent. This is for a minivan. Um, I'm sure to go to Gov deals. Anybody got a discussion with that? All right, now the third item on here, um, Mark called me Friday and we had this conversation and, and I think he touched base with all of y'all on this idea. But um, Mark has, he, well that might not have been Friday, I think it was Wednesday, I think it was Wednesday he would touch base with us on it. He, um, the, the issue is here, we've got, would be third item on here be to approve 10 16 foot stamped um, truck beds and the dump truck beds through the ACCA joint bid program. And what the issue is, is we bought our trucks in the first round of this year. And for us to get the truck beds for our trucks, we have to approve that, we have to say that we're gonna buy 10 truck beds. Well, the, if we don't, you know, we're not, it's nothing to, to, you know, we'll be seeking finance and all that at the same time, but I mean, we will not buy these beds or nothing until we get the trucks, but we just have to put our name on the list with Oxbody if we don't, we'll have to go with a different brand of bed. And I, you know, we've had ox bodies, beds, and stake. That's what the ACCA joint bed is. And so we just have to say that, hey, we're going to take 10 truck beds for trucks. And we're just proving this and to say that, hey, they'll go ahead and order us 10 truck beds. But all this cost is included with the yes, price. Yes, it'll, it'll all go with the trucks. It's just, this is just a simple, we just have to tell ox body, well, we have to tell truck works that we buy. We, we actually, we're actually. Childersburg truck Childersburg, 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 yeah. That we'll have to tell Childersburg that we're buying the truck beds, and so they will go ahead and start producing the truck beds in this first round of the first quarter of the okay. year. If they don't, we wind up with no truck beds and trucks. So that's all this is, and it'll all become financed in one package. It'll all be the same deal. It's just, um, but we just have to order them. So anybody got an issue with that? And I think Mark briefed all y'all. You know, just kind of explained y'all what that was. So I'd like a minute for you. All right. Yeah. Through. And um, you'll just wait and do it in your public reports to me in the commission meeting. Well, I just, either way. I think that's the way we, we got that set up. Yeah. 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 You'll just do it at the public March commission meeting. All right. And then, um, so that, we have no exact session. We will recess for 15 minutes and we will be back in here in about 15 minutes. Let's see here.